it's been a gradual process. Do you think the fans have always believed that he was going to deliver? Yes, uh, no doubt about that. I think Jurgen Klopp, I, I've never seen a manager have so much power over the support in some ways and, and maybe you go back further before my time maybe with, with Graham, Bob Paisley and maybe before that Bill Shankly but even throughout this country, I'm not just talking about Liverpool I'm talking about even Sir Alex Ferguson maybe Jose Mourinho was at Chelsea I mean, whatever Jürgen Klopp says it, it, it's almost gospel in this city uh, he's almost like a godlike figure really, especially now when this, this will be lifted later on and it is a monumental job what he's done, you talk about Gradually, he's got there and it took four or five years. Liverpool are not a club who can, one season, have a bad season and then just go and blow hundreds of millions in the transfer market and, and get close the next season. Manchester United could do that. Maybe Chelsea have proven that in the last few years. Liverpool has to be gradual. It was, it, when I was a player under Gerard Hulia, we, we come close by building over five years. One of the trophies and just missed out. Same with Rafa Benitez over five or six years. And that's what he's done. He had to get into the Champions League first. Then he had to try and challenge for the title, and then it goes again. And the reason I say it's a monumental job is because what he's up against was great managers in the Premier League. Pep Guardiola's here, uh, Pochettino, Wenger was here, Jose Mourinho was at Manchester United. All had experience, more experience of him than the Premier League. Also had more money to spend, and I actually include Tottenham there in that. If you actually look at what Jürgen spent, net spend, he's only spent 80 million in five years, which is unbelievable, actually compared to his rivals. So he comes in with a worse team than any of those clubs, and over five years spends a hell of a lot less. And now, the Champions League winner, world champions, and now Premier League winner. I mean, he's, he's a special manager, you know that, and him and this team will always be remembered as the team who brought that trophy back. Yeah, he's had to be able to, to sell in order to be able to bring in the big money signings that eventually arrived at Anfield and, and have led to them winning this, this Premier League trophy. He also talked, John, about the, how special it was to win at a club with the history of Liverpool, but also how difficult that makes it for, for any manager coming in and, and for the players. And you sort of cross you part of the, the team that won the, the last title and then chasing it for, for a couple of seasons after that. How, how big an obstacle is that, do you think, for, for current players? Well, expectations are a huge obstacle, particularly at a club like Liverpool, because I think that we went through a period when we weren't really capable of winning it. If you're talking about, you know, my last few years in the, in, in, in the late 90s, even coming into the 2000s, but the expectation still was there, rather than looking at a club who there's no expectations like Leicester, for example. So it, it, it's, it's been a huge, a huge, and as, as Jamie says, monumental effort. However, they've trusted him. Not only have they trusted him, they've given him the power to make any decision, particularly in the first couple of years when his record may not have been better than Brendan's per se. However, even when he made a decision and we weren't necessarily winning, the fans trusted him, the hierarchy trusted him. And as a consequence of that, you can see what happened in the last couple of years. And that is why it should be a lesson to all clubs to say, if you have a man you believe in, because all, man, all clubs believe in managers when they get them, this is the man for the job. If you really believe that, give him time, give him support and allow him, and the fans particularly, allow him to make any decision. Drop who you want, play who you want. And if, that, if the manager's given that power, he can be successful. John's talking about the power that the club gave to Jurgen Klopp. Jamie talking about the power that the fans have, have given to him and the status that he has with them. Why do you think that that's happened? Why do you think that that was almost immediate, that relationship between Jurgen Klopp and, and the club? What's the fit? I think, you know, we all know, you know, how emotional this football club is. Everything it does, it's, you know, there's so much emotion involved. I think he was a perfect fit. He wears his heart on the sleeve. Um, I think very quickly he won the support over. They were believing in him. It didn't happen immediately for him. Um, you have to give the board great credit um, for A, picking him and then giving him the time to develop what he's achieved here, what he's got here. Um, you have to also mention whoever's in, I assume he has the final word on recruitment, but the people that are involved in recruitment have done the most ridiculously wonderful job. Um, and that was and still is the biggest part of managing a big football club, the ones you get in and then you get the best out of them. And I just think everything's come together at the right time for this football club. The perfect manager with the, per the perfect people who are making the, 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 the serious decisions above the manager to the people that are f all the way through the chain in terms of people that are here and they've, they've, they've been chosen to be here. I'm talking about the players. I mean, they have some fantastic world-class players right now. And they're not just world-class players talent-wise. They seem to want to work their socks off every time they go out and play, and that's why they've been so consistent. And I can't wait till we get the chance to speak to Jurgen and ask him how does he get that consistency out of them? Because I think 
we have all played the game. We know how hard it is to put two good games together, never mind two seasons. So I think there is nothing that if you were marking them at a 10, you wouldn't give them a 9.5 or a 10. And everything, every part of managing this football club.